Hey everyone, um, today, bienvenidos. We're doing Spanish. Um, it, yes, Fauna has. Uh, all right, I'm sorry. There was a bit of a disconnect there. Um, I'm gonna get want to get back in the stream. If... Sorry. I'm gonna. <laughs> uh, all right, I'm sorry. There was a bit of a disconnect there. Um... And we got some echo going. Echo. I fixed that. that. True echo, like echo, echo, echo. I know, I know, right? Like. It just totally. Fauna, did, did you? I poked the link. You poked at the link? Um, hold on. It didn't work. So um, we were going to do something different today. We were going to start with Duolingo and then go into the Spanish for Dummies uh, book and discuss Spanish. But Jason, of course, disconnected our internet when he got up to go make himself coffee. So my apologies, everyone. We are having Sorry. technical difficulties of the Jason being clumsy kind. I'm not clumsy, I'm... Um, I mean, I'm let's see, so we will... Um, I'm, um, I mean, I'm obviously more clumsy as I fall like seven times a day. All right. So we'll head on into the Duolingo while I get Fauna uh, reconnected. What are you doing? Oh. Boy. Uh, that's hey. not the right. Um, there we go. So that's there. My, um, my fault. Add to oh, the stream. No, that. Here we are. Let's start with um, a Duolingo practice. Yay! Duolingo. We are doing um, activities. So. Escuela. Oops. No, so, let's do this. Nosotros trabajamos. Nosotros trabajamos en una escuela. What do you think it means, kids? What is it? 
Nosotros trabajamos. No. Nosotros trabajamos. No. We work. So in una escuela. At school. Yeah? Yeah. Nope. What Wait. Is it? Oh, at a school. Uh, if, I mean, okay, that's new to me. Nosotros tomamos. Nosotros is we. Okay. Tomamos. Tomamos. We take a taxi. Okay. There we go. Nosotros trabajamos. All right, hold on. Nosotros trabajamos aquí. Quiero tomar el autobús. What is it, Jason? What's quiero? I want to take, that's good. There we go. Ellos hablan en ellos hablan español. Ellos hablan Italian. Doing good, kids. Also, children, there are Spanish lessons that you guys have due. Jason, you have three of them. You still haven't done. And the reason we skipped um, the first Friday was because I wanted them to have the Spanish lessons done. And then the second one, I wasn't feeling well. So that's why it's been so late since the last one. Queremos hablar español. Queremos. Hold on. Queremos. You want maybe uh, what? Hablar. Hablar. So habla means so we want what comes after want to speak Spanish. Jason, you gotta participate too, son. Quiero trabajar en un restaurante. Jay, what is it? We no. Work. Quiero. I want to work at a restaurant. I remember that quiere is conjugated differently for each, um, I guess, like pronoun. So, like, I, we. The we is nosotros. So, you would conjugate that differently from yo, which is I. So if you see an O on quiero, that's always I want. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> yeah. I want to work in a restaurant. You said? Queremos hablar español. Queremos hablar español. No hablas You oh. um oh um hold up. What is that? Is that a human? Is that a human? No. Mm. Hold on, Wolf said something, Ari.
Hold on, we got Zandacor uh, calling, and I thought he was at work. So, uh, my apologies, there's an echo again. Echo! Wait, we weren't live? <laughs> I mean, you are, I just hadn't put, added you officially to the stream because I didn't know you were in. I also, um, unable to connect to chat. Lol. 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 So he's uh, trying to call again, despite. I know. Um, Brian. Sorry, I'm I'm getting Zandacor in. If you will. Working. So we were at Tu hablas francais, you speak French. Ustedes trabajan mucho. You work. You. Trabajan. A lot, yes. Um, technically, no. Technically, no. You thought it was one word? Yeah. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. No. Sorry about that. Um, we're gonna uh, share screen. Share. Awesome. And then at the stream and boom. Yeah, so um, let's see if Zandi. You so there we go. Um, let's continue. You worked hard and got 10 right in a row. Ellos trabajan en una fábrica. So trabajan what does this ellos. mean? Ellos trabajan en una fábrica. So we said ellos was. Ellos. They work. In a fabric? Fabrica is a new word for you. It is factory. Oh. Sarah, why is your Spanish notebook? You should probably write some of these words down. Ellos trabajan en una fabrica. Well, Zandi hasn't joined us, so. but yes. Ella toma el autobús. Um, so Ella is. Ella. A, what's toma? We've seen it. Here we go. We've seen it before but in different format. So what is it? She takes. She takes the what the bus. So Jason, are you gonna participate? Water boy. You need to take the train. Which one is it? Recrae subra el parque? No. Ustedes necesitan tomar el tren? That one? Yeah. 
Tú hablas inglés. Tú hablas inglés. What does that mean? Tú hablas inglés. She wants to work in Mexico. Is that quieren nosotros como com, comemos? What the heck? Ella quiere trabajar en México. <laughs> there we go, Jay. We take the cats. The, the, we take the cat. No, we take a taxi. <laughs> We're not taking a cat anywhere. Certainly. Uh, nosotros salimos un taxi. Nosotras. Or nosotros mon montamos un dinero. Nosotros tomamos un taxi. Sarah, what does salimos mean? What does toma mean? Remember when we used uh, ella toma? Right, so if we were to um, change it for nosotros, what is tom tomamos? Uh, not taken? It's still taken. So if we take a taxi, or it's going to be take. T toma is take. So nosotros tomamos un taxi. Yes. See? There you go. Nosotros trabajamos en una escuela. Nosotros trabajamos en una escuela. Nosotros. We just discussed what nosotros. We. Work. we in a school. Work. So I think it's alright. Yes. At a school. We just missed the A because. Did he just blow a kiss? All right. So, um, we'll um, we might come back to that depending on how long our reading goes. But for right now, I'm gonna just kind of pull that and switch us over yeah. here. Mm -hmm. Look. Oh my God. Look. Look. I like the text. What's wrong with it? It tastes like sugar. It's got a, like two cups of sugar in it. It's grits. Well, not two cups of sugar in that particular bowl. It had two cups of sugar in what would have been about six cups of grits. But that has nothing to do with Spanish, so let's get back to Spanish. Right. I like eating the words. Um, great for you, I guess. Where were we at in this chapter? I think we were at, were we at irregular verbs? Maybe. Yes, because you guys left off with doing uh, Rosario and the Ila. Alejandro, I think. That was fun. Talking about where he works. I work in the goddamn cemetery. Right, language, Svana. Oh. <laughs> so, <coughs> right. my apologies. Irregular verbs. In irregular verbs, the root, and at times the endings of the verb, keep changing. This is from the Spanish for Dummies book, which complicates matters. An example is the verb tener, to have, as the following table shows. Oh, that's right. We did actually read this, I think, because we did this one. Veronica, yo, yo tengo trabajo. Donde tienes trabajo? Yep. So we were actually at L and or A a pronouns. See? As soon as I started reading, I recognized it. Oh, pronouns okay. and hiding. For the most part, the Spanish language stays quite regular and to the point, which makes it easy to learn and speak. 
However, Spanish often hides the pronoun he, she, and it. The easy part of, with Spanish is that you don't have to say the pronoun. You can make a good guess about the intended pronoun simply from the verb form, which is what we were talking about with quiero. If there's an O, that means yo quiero. So I want, but you don't have to say the I. And uh, Zandy's gonna watch instead of join. I'm glad, I'm glad Zandy's watching. We love you, Zandy. Zandy's family. So where were we? Wow. Okay, back to Spanish. Espanol. The easy part with is you don't have to say, you can make a good guess about the intended pronoun simply from the verb form. In English, you always use the pronoun before the verb. Not so in Spanish because each pronoun has its own verb form. Spanish generally omits the pronoun. Therefore, you say voy al cine, I go to the movies. Here are some other examples. Están de vacación, they are on vacation. No es el carro, it is not the car. Tienen vino, do they or you have wine? Figuring out Spanish pronouns is much like playing hide and seek. For a language that gives every word a specific gender, Spanish still manages to hide the gender of the doer of its verbs. In the sentence, trabaja en ventas, you know that someone or something is working in sales, but you don't know if it is a woman, a man, a cat, or a computer. In English, you use he, she, it, they, to know who or what performs the action, but Spanish generally omits the pronoun. But because each pronoun has its own verb, when you say voy al cine, I understand you're saying I go to the movies based on the form of the verb. So with that, before I start the, the whole gender thing um, section, we're going to go ahead and I think to make this a little more active, do another Duolingo with the kids. I find it funny that that Spanish gets every single verb a gender. <coughs> it goes to actual people. It's just like, who are genders? Well, and um, I'm, I'm not going to get into the whole Latinx thing, but there is a lot of languages are gendered. So. Gender is a foreign concept. Please explain. All right. Back to uh, Espanol. We're going to do, um, I'm actually repairing my damaged ones here. So we're going to do restaurants. Mm. Yay! Not coffee. Con pescado. Con pescado. Con pescado? Oh, con pescado. With fish. With fish. Okay, hold on. What is that? Um, Una? Um. Oh, no. oh, fish Essentially, but for some reason, they consider a fish hamburger different from a sandwich de pescado, which is a fish sandwich. But nobody in America that I know of says, I want a fish hamburger. Also, ground fish into a patty, unless we're having salmon cakes, sounds weird. I would put my fish in sushi. I like fish. I, I do like fish. I don't like fish. All right, let's continue. Una. Don't know if that has an accent or not at the end. Nope, it doesn't. Okay, what is this one? What does it translate? 
Una. A table for two people. Good job. Mesa. Para. Go. Well, there's nothing. It wasn't on the. You gotta listen to it, and then type it in. Uh, yeah. Four, five, four. So. Una mesa para dos, por favor. Impressive. Oh, Jay, what is this one? In Spanish. Como se dice en español? Like You don't know what a salad is? I'm forgetting what a salad is. It's the thing with the leaves. Ah. <laughs> okay. The point is, what's the word? Language. So, una ensalada. Jay, what? Please, in Spanish. Four, five. So, uh, when you want to ask, how do you say? Como se dice? In Espanol. So, como se dice, please, in Espanol. How do you, how do you remember stuff? Butter boy, go pop that uh, microwave open so it'll stop beeping. I don't know how that became my name. Una mesa para dos personas. What was that? Una? Sarah, what was it? Um, Una mesa, mesa para dos personas. I do not know how part of the word you can write it with. Which means... Oop, I forgot the pada. Oops, I thought I put it in. A table, trying. two people. <laughs> That would be me trying to talk. <laughs> now. Sin azúcar, por favor. Sin. What is what is that? Sin. Azúcar. What was the last part? Four. Um, so what is the cheese? There we go. I'm trying to remember how to spell queso. I don't think I spelled it right. What was that? And here's where we talk about that again. In Spanish, typically, you don't have to have the yo in front of quiero. So that's what we were talking about, about pronouns. But Duolingo does it a lot. A... She, it's, what is a sandwich de queso? A cheese, a cheese sandwich. No. Cheese sandwich. Sarah's right. What was that? Listen. What was this? What is, uh, good job, Sarah. Jay, is that bowl empty? No. Oh. Then put it away. Then put it away. Okay. Oh, I don't talk to you, Asia. <coughs> Sarah, yeah. what does this one translate to? <laughs> yep.
Oh, fish burger. Una hamburguesa, por favor. Una hamburguesa. Four, five, four. Yes? One hamburger, please. Yes. A hamburger, please. Con carne. A hamburger, please. Sarah, did you hear that? What is this? Con carne. Con carne. I was going to ask Jason what it meant. Un café con azúcar. What was that? Say I put the tablet down. Un café con azúcar. Oh, coffee and sugar. That's what that means. Yes. Now, please put the tablet away because you're not paying attention. And I know you're not because you're not saying. Un café. Azúcar. Say you too. What does the C mean? Without. Ah, right. So if con is with, sin is without. So un café con azúcar. So a coffee with sugar. Un café sin azúcar is... A little without sugar. So, like the whole sentence, please. Sin leche, por favor. Jay, what was that? Jay, your cup's empty. Put it down. Sin leche, por favor. Jay needs to answer some. Por what, it, what does it mean? Without milk. Good, good, good. So, without milk, please. Wait, what is that, Jason? Mm -hmm. I said Jason. Onas. And what does it mean? Una me separa dos personas. One table for two people. people. Una. People. Una is not one. Uno. Oh, wait. A table. There we, uno is one. Una is A. Yeah. My head. A fish burger. So weird. Yeah, again. I don't think it is. Um, so let's continue back to the next part of this, which is the whole gender thing because we were talking about gender and spanish and languages being gendered what spanish lacks in pronouns it makes up for being very specific in other parts of a sentence you see in spanish not just people but everything in creation has gender when you refer to people and animals understanding gender use in spanish is easy because gender is part of their essence just as with flowers Everyone knows that flowers are pollinated, needing both gender to produce fruit and seeds. So why not refer to all things that grow with names that are marked by gender? And if things that grow have gender, why not give everything and every word that privilege? You're misunderstanding gender here, but okay. Anyway, continuing. Many languages spread this gender thing into their universe. English isn't the only exception. It simply belongs to those languages that don't. A noun's gender conditions everything around it, just as your own gender conditions your lifestyle. For example, in English, the word piano has no gender. But in Spanish, the word piano 
ends in an O and can therefore only be male. Consequently, piano has a male definite article before el piano, the piano, or the male indefinite article, un piano, a piano. Wait, so the word piano comes from? Um, we'll, we'll get to that in a, in a minute. Next will be lots about articles. We're gonna go do another Duolingo real okay. fast. I'm saying voice To keep, <gasps> for now. So let's oh, do family to. I can't wait, I can voice acting. Restore that. That's Bridget Hughes. Are you okay there? I'm Bridget Hughes. Mi perro es grande. What did it say? You guys are okay. perro is grande. My dog is big. Yes. I hope he's not a Clifford yeah. big. Yeah. What does it mean? Una a. Un carro. Look at this screen. A car? Uh, nice. You're making a lot of noise. Well, pay attention. What is the next one? Because it's a uh, type it in Spanish after you hear it. So, un gato. Un, we said, is what? The what gender article? So if it said gata, it would be, what would be the article here? Una. Yo tengo. And here we have it. What is that? Yo tengo una hija. Mi hija. So remember that H is silent. So yo tengo una hija. So it's the hija. So H is pretty much silent. But the J makes an H sound. Woo. All right, what's this one? Look at it. La, la familia. Uh, sit up. Half a second. All right, let's keep going. What was that one? Yes. Oh, what's he having? Do you know? Do you know what it means? Yeah. Look at the thing. What does it say? Uh, a thin bar. It says my daughter. Oh. Oh, uh, yeah, it is blocked. Here, hold on. How do you spell it? With there you go, look. All right, so how is this one, Jason? Tell me what, the, what it's supposed to be. Me. Now, uh, como se dice mother? Jason? 
Ma. Um, look, Sarah. Madre. They're probably gonna want madre, although. Madre. Yes, both of them is mama. All right. Oh. So me madre. madre. Uh. Yeah, elegante. elegante. I can't remember the word. And there it is. Ella tiene una casa. Hold on. Ella tiene una casa. Ella tiene una casa. Tiene. Ella tiene una casa. I have, or, well, actually, it's she has a house. All right, the father in Espanol. Uh, and when I started learning Spanish, I figured out what people call that. Yeah. Mi padre es elegante. Mi. Mi padre es elegante. Okay. Yes. Up, uh, Jason. What is it? <laughs> it does that a lot. Shh. Pay attention. Me. Uh. Language. Yes. So nice. What is this? Switch them. Oh, A. A husband. And a wife. What is it? I can't remember how to spell by. Okay. Un hermano y una hermana. A. There we go. I couldn't remember what the words were. Is it in your Spanish book thing? We do have book. What is that? Me. Like that, right? Yeah. So, and now, and now um, it's very clear because we don't have those labels covering things. I didn't realize that was covering the stuff. We don't want that. No, we don't. Hmm. So. All right, continuing. She has a house. No, Aya. Ah, there it is. When I was a child, I used to go to a daycare called Nuestra Casa. Do you know what Nuestra Casa means? Our house. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Wasn't it a long? Uh, it'd be funny if Our were, house. It would be funny if it was in Russian. Would be considering Maria is Mexican. 
but but the way it sounded, it kept saying how. Uh, oh, how? Uh, how? 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 Uh, twenty twenty twenty. All right. right. Como se dice en español? Mi family. Mi family. Mi. Yeah, that. Oh, he My cat is big in Espanol. Fana. And Perfecto. And how it leaves us like that too. So now we go back and we continue with the reading here real fast. We are now in lots about articles. In English, you use articles the and a or an without knowing the subject's gender, or even caring whether a plural or a singular word comes after it. Very comfortable, but also very vague. However, with Spanish articles, you can point out when you're referring to one or several specific th beings or things, and in the same breath, you can specify their gender. <coughs> in Spanish, your reward for this precision is variety. It's a more is better kind of policy. You have four different ways to say the. The can precede the girl, the girls, the boys, the boys, or any other subject you want to stick in. El, the male singular. La, female singular. Los, male plural. Las, female plural. And four ways to say a uh, or an. Un, the male a or on, una, the female are a or on, unas, the plural of una, and unos, the plural of un. So let's see. So how do you know when to use which article? It's easy. When the noun ends in o, it's male. If a word ends in a, uh, it's female. Some exceptions to this rule exist, but they're pretty easy to figure out because they follow an, another rule, the ma, pa, ta rule, which holds that words ending in ma, pa, and ta are likely to be masculine, even though a is the last letter. The easy part to remember is that when you see an S at the end of the word, you know the word is plural. Here are some examples. El niño, the boy. Los niños, the boys. Un niño, a boy. Unos niños, some boys. Unos usually means some or unas. La niña, the girl. Las niñas, the girls. Una niña, a girl. Unas niñas, some girls. Look at the Los Niños entry in the preceding list and notice that the translation is plural for both the boys and the children. When you have mixed company, both male and female genders are present. You use the male plural article. So Los Niños can mean boys or boys and girls. You follow the same pattern with unos. Okay, so Spanish and English are both vague in places, you say. And Spanish speakers say, sorry, that's the way it is. Languages, like people, all reserve the right to be vague at times. Spanish is a melodious language. It doesn't like to have two consonants at the end of a word. So it inserts a vowel between them, as in mujer, mujeres. So when a noun ends in a consonant, therefore adding the S to turn it into a plural 
Spanish inserts an E. Following are some examples. La mujer, un mujer, unas mujeres. And so that was a, the woman, a woman, some woman. El pan, los panes, un pan, unos panes. And so that's the bread, the breads, a bread, some breads. El canal, the channel. Los canales, the channels. Un canal, a channel. Unos canales, some channels. El doctor, the doctor. Los doctores, the doctors. Un doctor, a doctor. Unos doctores, some doctors. You may not be aware of this, but you already know how to make plurals of these nouns. Simply add S to both the article and to the noun. So, words to know, el niño, la niña, la mujer, el hombre, los vinos, el camino, las casas, la, los autos. So, el niño, the boy, la niña, the girl, la mujer, the woman, el hombre, the man, los vinos, the wines. That's a good word to know. The wine? Yes. Oh, good. What, is the, what is the word? Anyway, How, El Camino, word the road. Las Casas, the houses. Los Atos, the cars. Mm. A professional job. When a male word for a profession comes up, you form the female term by adding an A to the end of the word. Thus, doctor becomes doctora. From there, you know already how to find your article. La doctora, the female doctor. Una doctora, a female doctor. Las doctoras, the female doctors. Unas doctoras, some female doctors. Not as tough as it looks, eh? So the next part is adjectives. Um, we'll see if we get to that after we do this next uh, Duolingo. But I might get more views or not because I posted the uh, link to the video in the description. Ooh, I didn't even think to post today's. Oops. Vives con tu novio? Okay, hold on. Vives con tu novio? So, what is that? Vives? What is it? Con tu novio. Con tu. Oh, wait, that should, I think. And what was the last word, Sarah? Novio. What does it mean? Uh, what does the sentence mean? What does vivas mean? And I think the, it's a question. I think it's, do you live with your boyfriend? I think. Yep, and it is. It is, do you live with your boyfriend? La mujer es maestra. So what is that in English? The, the woman is a, oh no, yes, maestra. Teacher. Feeling. I feel like there's an A or a the missing there. But we'll see if it uh, corrects me. It says, yeah, they want the A. A S. Yo vivo en una casa grande. What does that mean? Yo vivo en una casa grande. <coughs> Jay. Come on, Jay. Yo vivo. What's uh, vivo? No. Come 
a conjugate of vive, vive, which is what? We just used it with the boyfriend. Who? Live? Yes. I live. With? No, there's no call. In una. Yes. Bruno, what? What does that mean? Bruno tiene una hermana. Bruno's a name. Bruno has. That's a spouse. Armana. Uh, yes. Say it louder. Sister. Yes. Eres muy joven. Eres muy joven. Eres muy What is it? And what was that, Jason? Es. Maestro. El no es what? He is, he, he is not also a master. That's it. Donde vive tu hermana? Where does your sister live? Right? Yeah. In the dungeon. No. What was that one? Yo tengo. Yo tengo. What does it mean? Why does it break? Is there a, no, yo tengo un perro Wait. grande. Wait. Um, Your dog is here? I have a big dog. Um, uh, tengo una hermana y un hermano. Okay. Juan, ¿quién es novia? Juan. Juan, ¿quién es novia? Juan, ¿quién es novia? What was the last word? And what does it mean? 
look at the screen. You don't have the word has? Juan, do you have a girlfriend? We just learned what novio was. Right. When you've just learned a word, Mi novio acting like you don't know it right afterwards. Mi. Mi novio quiere estudiar francés. My what? What's Kiara? No, that's Tengo or Tienes. We've used this word several times already today. Queramos, quiero, quiere. Yo quiero Taco Bell. What? Yes. Wants to. What's a studia? No, that's a estudiante. Study? Yes. And Frances? I mean, we could try to study France, but I don't think that's what it means. Mi novia no es americana. Mi? Novia. No. Es americana. Es? Es americana. And what's that mean? That's right. So what does it mean? My boyfriend. He's got it. Oh. It's on the screen if you are looking at it. Lives in China. In China. Oh, there we go. So, what is it? Novio. Me? Novio? No. Um. Let me make sure I'm spelling it right. Yep. Novio. Let me make sure. Yes. Vive in China, right? Hola. Oops, I accidentally sent it to both uh uh switch and ow. Me amo el Santi Casi Ten. I guess. Oh, I don't. Okay. What does that mean? Um, it means that they're saying, uh, ah, uh, they're probably trying to advertise their YouTube. Eres maestro, Jose. What is uh, in English, Jason? Are you a 
Teacher. Juan. Jose. Jose. Not every not everyone is Juan. Thank you. My family lives in Spain. In Espanol, Ana? Mi familia. Vive. Let's see. Yep, vive. In. España. I forgot to put the little tilde over the end. Oops. My friend Hector is very young. Uh, Como se dice en español, Jason? My friend Hector is very young. I don't remember. All right. Get a Mi, mi, mi amigo, Hector, Hector, also Hector apparently had that, es muy, you said, muy, joven, right? Let's see if that's it. Tú es maestro de español. Tú es maestro de español. Tú es a Spanish teacher. Las, la mujer es maestra. The, the woman is a teacher. Remember, they did this one already. And that's it. That's it. We. Oh, wow. I didn't even realize my all-time XP. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm not the highest in my friends, but... You are my friends, but I don't have more friends. Yeah. All right. Well, that, I think, was a pretty good lesson. It's about an hour. I'm going to go make some food soon. Let me um, let me do this, and there you guys are. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, gracias um, for our Spanish lessons. I hope to continue doing this hopefully every other Friday. Um, oh, yay. See you in two weeks. Peace.